grant, brethren, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice of thy hands to the praise and glory of his name. For we are benefited now of all his holy church. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. Almighty and ever living God, by thy holy apostles taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men. We humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept their alms and oblations, and to receive these our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. And grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word, and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also, so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, Heavenly Father, to all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and brightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. Remember especially Shane, our primate, Patrick, our bishop, Joe, our president, him, our governor, Alex, Barry, Bayo only, Charles, Jackson, Deborah, Eric, Faye, John, Karen, Catherine, Kyle, Larry, Leslie, Logan, Louise, Lucas, Lucille, Mason, Megan, Melody, Merlin, Michelle, Miranda, Norma, Pat, Paul, Peter, Rachel, Rex, Rising Sun, Sandy, Sandy, Sarah, Suvi, Tamara, Teresa, Thomas, Travis, Joaquin, our U.S. military, especially Edmund and Jason, all victims of terrorism, prevention, starvation around the world, and end of the Russia Ukrainian war and all wars, all those who are in any way afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or state, and for all who have died on the battlefield in service to our country. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace unto follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Amen. You truly and earnestly repent you of your sins, in our love and charity with your neighbors, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God, and walking from henceforth in his holy ways. Draw near with faith, and take this holy sacrament to your comfort, and make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly kneeling. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and dwell our manifold sins and wickedness, which we, from time to time, most grievously have committed, by thought, word, and deed, against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and invitation against us. We do earnestly repent, and are heartily sorry and pleased in our doings, the remembrance of them that speak unto us, the burden of them that follow us, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. Most merciful Father, for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may have a hereafter to serve and please thee in the of life, to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who with great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ hath, and do all truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. 
So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all who believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Here also in St. Paul said, This is a true saying, worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Here also in St. John said, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is he. right and our bound in duty, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, according to whose most true promise the Holy Ghost came down from heaven, lighting upon the disciples to teach them and to lead them into all truth, giving them boldness with verb and seal, constantly to preach the gospel unto all, whereby we have brought up, been brought out of darkness and error into the clear light and true knowledge of thee and of thy Son, Jesus Christ. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and the same. Son, Jesus Christ, who suffered death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there, by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute, and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. For the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. When he had given thanks, he break it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after the supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, 
do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty. With these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable, innumerable benefits brought unto us by the same. We most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and that thy almighty goodness shall take thee blessed and sanctified. With thy word and Holy Spirit, these are gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, holy institution, in remembrance of the death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy Father with goodness, mercifully of acceptance our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching you to grant by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee, that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and make one body with him, and he may dwell in us, and we in him. <coughs> Remember also, Lord, thy servant and handmaidens, who have gone before us in the sign of faith, and our rest in the sleep of peace. To these, O Lord, and to all rest in Christ, we seek to grant a place of refreshment, of life, and of peace. Thou take to give unto us some portion of fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, with John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Patience, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicito, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and with all thy saints, within his company, we beseech thee to admit us. And although we are unworthy for our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, Yet we beseech thee to accept this our vow of duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. <clears throat> By whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Let us pray. Now as our Savior Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven,
not presume to come to this thy table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs on the right table. But though hard to say, Lord, the property is always in your mercy. Grant us therefore grace, Lord, so that we eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be cleaned by his body, and our souls washed with the most precious blood, that we may no more dwell in him and in us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, the only who taketh away the sins of the world.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee for the God of the safe to feed us, who have given thee these holy mysteries, for the spiritual food from our precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and thus assure us thereby of thy favor to us and joy us, and we are very members of corporate and physical body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all things and people, but are also heirs to the hope for our everlasting kingdom. By the prayers of both precious and the past, we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us in thy grace, and we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk through Jesus Christ our Lord, and who will lead in the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory. Lord, will die in us. Amen. Suddenly the game has sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Hallelujah. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak the wonderful works of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> The Lord be with you. And yes, with thy spirit. Let us pray. Cleanse our hearts, O Lord, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, and make them fruitful, fruitful by the inward sprinkling of the dew of his grace. Through Jesus Christ, our Son, our Lord, who live in the reign of the in the unity of the Holy Spirit ever. One God, world without end. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we trust all who are dear to us, that I never fail in care and love for this life and the life to come knowing that thou art joined with them better things than we can desire or pray for. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who live and reign with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit ever. One God, world without end. Amen. Amen. Peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Depart in peace. Thanks. 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 Thanks.
of rushing up there for me. Just give me time enough to greet people. And okay. it'll take a couple minutes and then sure. we'll get started. That'll Otherwise, they just disappear. That'll be fine. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? No. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For we are persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, and even the creatures, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, who is in Christ Jesus our Lord. O blessed Redeemer, by thy indwelling power, relieve, we beseech thee, the distress of these thy servants, and of those from whom they have come to pray. Release them from sin, and drive away all pain of soul and body, and being restored to soundness and health, they may offer thee praise and thanksgiving, who liveth and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. 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 Am